knew that after that dream, I would not grow up to be an ordinary man. I had many conversations with Father Nikolai, who was always dressed in black with a black beard. For years, I thought he was an Italian widow. Every action has a cause. The universe exists, therefore it has a cause. It follows God created the universe, therefore he exists. And yet Spinoza didn't believe in the Holy Trinity. Spinoza was a Jew. What's a Jew? You never saw a Jew. Here, I have some sketches. There are Jews. No kidding. They all have these horns? No, this is the Russian Jew. The German Jew has these stripes. I recall my first mystical vision. I was walking through the woods thinking about Christ. If he was a carpenter, I wondered what he charged for bookshelves. Suddenly... Who are you? Death. What happens after we die? Is there a hell? Is there a God? Do we live again? All right, let me ask one key question. Are there girls? You're an interesting young man. We'll meet again. Don't bother. It's no bother. Fortunately, I, I have so much of it. Those next months were the happiest time of my life. Then one day, at the height of my sense of well-being, I suddenly and for no apparent reason was seized with an urge to commit suicide. No, you're healthy, you have a beautiful wife, your work is going well. Yeah, I know, but something's missing. I don't know. I feel a void at the center of my being. What kind of void? Well, an empty void. An empty void? Yes. I felt a full void about a month ago, but it was just something I ate. And maybe what you have is a sickness of the soul. Look, there's Death. What? Who? Death. He's got Kropotkin, the wine merchant. Really? Yeah, and a woman. Ooh, it's not Mrs. Kropotkin. You're kidding. No, I always knew Kropotkin was diddling somebody else. Where are you taking Kropotkin? Away, forever. Listen, if you run into my wife, tell her I'm with you. Goodbye, Kropotkin. If you get a chance, write. Father Andre, holiest of holies, aged and wise, you are the most wrinkled man in the entire country. Get off my beard, baby, you little jerk. Oh. Rise, my child. Rise. I'm standing. My eyesight is poor. Everyone says you're senile with age, but you're the only one that can help me. I don't think you're senile. Where did you say the fish was caught? What fish? Didn't you say something about fish? Father, Boris is trying to commit suicide. Last week he contemplated killing himself by inhaling next to an Armenian. They tell Boris this. I have lived many years, and after many trials and tribulations, I have come to the conclusion that the best thing is... Yes? ...blonde 12-year-old girls. Father. Two of them were never possible. Father, I counted on you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you, your grubbiness. Wheat. I'm dead. They're talking about wheat. The question is, have I learned anything about life? Only that, only that human beings are divided into mind and body. The mind embraces all the nobler aspirations, like poetry and philosophy. But the body has all the fun. The important thing, I think, is not to be bitter. You know, if, if it turns out that there is a God, I don't think that he's evil. I think that, that the worst you can say about him is that basically he's an underachiever. After all, you know, there are worse things in life than death. I mean, if you've, if you've ever spent an evening with an insurance salesman, you, you know exactly what I mean. The, the key here, I think, is to, to not think of death as an end, but but think of it more as a very effective way of, of cutting down on your expenses. Regarding love, <laughs> you know, uh, what can you say? It's, it's not the, the quantity of your sexual relations that count. It's the quality. 
On the other hand, if the quantity drops below once every eight months, I would definitely look into it. Well, that's about it for me, folks.